Okay ladies and gentlemen, I want to talk to you about writing topic sentences and particular writing solid interesting substantial um, topic sentences. So here I have my contention is that Frankie, Frankie's father calls him a blockhead but this and this is true for most of the time. So this is an ADA response. So we tend to, when we're talking about this in class, talk in kind of shorthand or shortened sentences and we might say, you know, he, um, he takes risks. Now you know what, that is true, but it's really, really short and we can do better than that. So, Frankie Maguire um, is a bit of a blockhead, to link it back to um, to the central point because he takes risks and I'm not just going to say takes risks he takes risks with his own safety and the safety of people he cares about So there's actually quite a bit of detail in this slightly bigger sentence. One is, I'm saying Frankie Maguire rather than just he. I'm linking it back to the idea of him being a blockhead. I'm saying because, because, and that means I'm linking one thing to another. And I'm not just saying it's about safety, I'm saying it's his safety and the safety of people that he cares about. So I just want to give you another example of what I mean by beefing out these sentences. So, I think he's mostly a blockhead. You know what? He does care about other people. This is true. So you could write that. But again, you know what? He... You know what? They say she is the cat's mother. Well, I guess he is the cat's cousin. But, you know, Frankie... Um, shows his good qualities. You know, so I'm making the point that he's not a blockhead here. Shows his good qualities when he cares about other people and includes them, them in his activities or his life. You know, and I might come back and I might talk about um, Gordy, I might talk about Maggie, I might even talk about Mickey, um, because these are all people who he sees that um, need somebody to stand up for them, and he you know, admittedly it's a bad decision, but he gives his sister the rash, he insists on Gordy coming into the gang, he makes a real point of trying to be a friend to Mikey, Mickey, that kid. Um, so, but both of these, I really want to hasten, are not examples from the story. They're examples about what's good about Frankie, but they're not retelling the story yet. We're going to get to that when we get to our evidence. And likewise, I say he takes risks with his safety, but I'm not actually retelling the story. Okay, so last of all, I want to show that he is a bit of a blockhead. Now, some of you, unfortunately, seem to be falling back in, oh, well, I'll just talk about him being unsafe again. Well, we've already talked about his safety. What's another way in which he is um, a blockhead? I would say another way in which Frankie... Frankie is also a bit of a blockhead. when he keeps important information from adults who might very well be able to help him and people that he cares about. Now that's a completely different point to the one about safety and I'm probably going to draw an example such as not telling his parents that Frankie is being beaten by his father um, by not telling um, Frankie's mum where he is. Um, but you know, th th there are things that I can bring in to deal with this. And while we're in the neighbourhood, I'm going to restate my contention. These things show us that Frankie Maguire is a blockhead most of the time, but he does have his good qualities too. So there you go. So we're going from our prompt to our topic sentences and we're trying to make our topic sentences actually mean something and show off a bit of our understanding. I don't want you to waffle on but think about how you can actually show me the depth of your understanding and of your knowledge of this book.